five things that every new Uber driver needs to know. What up YouTube, it's your boy Jermaine back with another video and in this video I'm going to talk about five things that every new Uber driver should know before you sign up just five things you really should know all right first off the bat now I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything when I say the first one but I'm just gonna keep it real okay guys you are not going to get rich driving for uber okay you're not going to get rich driving for uber okay that's it I mean that's just the first one like you're not gonna get rich you might have a few weeks go by and you're making good money and you might have a few weeks go by and you're making you're not making anything that's just the name of the game. Like It fluctuates like crazy. When you have those good weeks, you need to save a chunk of that money and save for you know some of those crappy weeks that you're gonna have because you're definitely going to have those weeks. I'm not making this up. I'm talking about this from experience. Like I work here in San Francisco, one of the hottest markets in the country, and believe me, it slows down like crazy around here. And I'm just like, oh, it's super slow. It's super slow. I better cut another app on. I better cut another app on. You always want to have something to fall back on in this business. And not only do you want something to fall back on, you kind of want to always keep your eyes open for that next opportunity. You always want to keep your ears open for that next opportunity because that's one good thing about being an entrepreneur. That's one good thing about being an Uber driver. You're not on lockdown. If you hear of something new that's popping up, you got the freedom and the flexibility to jump over there and try it. Unlike someone who is working a nine to five when they have to be there at nine to five. You, the Uber driver on the other hand, you can take off for a couple hours and try something out. Bottom line, keep your options open. And if you notice that, hey, things are really changing in my market, you know, three months ago I was making this amount of money and now I'm making 20% or 30% or I don't know, 40% less, you might want to switch up. You might want to switch the game up. You might want to try something else. My second piece of advice for you guys, have some sort of plan, okay? Have some sort of plan. Just because you have this awesome schedule that's wide open does not mean that you can just chill and work whenever you want. For example, let's say Monday rolls around and you say, I'm gonna take off Monday. Tuesday rolls around, I'm gonna take off Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have it set in your mind, I'm gonna work because I took off Monday and Tuesday, okay? Wednesday rolls around, you go out, you work. It's not the busiest day. Thursday rolls around, you go out and work. It, it's a little bit better than Wednesday, but still, it's not super busy. Friday rolls around, you have this thought in your head, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna work Friday. This is gonna be the day. What happens? A couple hours later, a friend calls you up. Hey, I got tickets to this baseball game. You gotta go with me. We don't have to pay, I got free tickets. What do you do? Instead of working like you planned to work and Wednesday was slow, Thursday was slow, you took off Monday, you took off Tuesday, now it's Friday, your friend is right here saying, I got some free tickets. What do you do? You go to the game, so once again, Wednesday wasn't the best day for you, Thursday wasn't the best day for you, and Friday you didn't even work. I'm saying all this to say, have a schedule and stick with it. One thing about being an entrepreneur, you gotta be a man of your word. If you say you're gonna do it, you gotta do it. If you change your mind, you're gonna pay for it later. Now my third piece of advice for you new Uber drivers out there, new folks out there that just signed up, you wanna drive Uber, you wanna make some extra cash in your spare time, and you want that freedom and you want that flexibility. One thing I would recommend is to work smart and not work hard. Work smart and not work hard. Once again, work smart, but don't work hard. Let's expand on this. If you have freedom and the flexibility to drive for Uber any hour you want during the week, my best advice I can give you is to pick the best hours and you go out and you work during the best hours. For example, in San Francisco, my market, the best hours to work are Monday through Friday, what, 6 a.m. through, I would say, like 10 a.m. It's rush hour, everyone's rushing to work. Those are really good hours to work. If you can work any hours in the day, it should be those first four hours. Number one, those hours are the best hours to get Uber's boost earnings or boost surge. Number two, it's very, very likely that there could be some surge pricing going on. If you're not in the selected area to, to collect Uber's boost pricing, so what? Maybe you can get some surge pricing instead. I mean, it's equivalent to Uber's boost pricing. Extra money in the pockets for Uber drivers. Other great times to work for, the evening rush hour. The evening rush hour can be really good. And the cool thing about the evening rush hour, you may begin your shift at 5 p.m. 
and 5 p.m. traffic's crazy. But throughout the night, 7, 7.30, 8, 9, traffic dies down and everything is much more smoother and it's easier to get around the city. It's easy to pick those passengers up and drop them off. It's easy to make that Uber dough. Now my fourth piece of advice is some advice that I've never really heard any other YouTubers say online. So I thought maybe I would share it with you guys. Now in my market, San Francisco, I've worked in San Francisco for about three years. One thing I've discovered, holiday weekends and holidays are typically not the best days to work. Now that's here in my market. Your market could be completely different. Your market on a holiday weekend or a holiday, it could be much more busier than it would be in my market. But I know on holidays such as Christmas and even New Year's Eve, Halloween, there's so much hype out there and there's so many drivers on the road that it, it it's kind of like a slow night and so many people go out and drive because they think it's going to be a really, really busy night. Now definitely the fourth piece of advice I've given you guys is really going to vary depending on where you live. For a lot of people that drive Uber in my market, I've heard the same thing like the holidays just they pretty much suck and any special events in the town like parades and stuff like that it's usually like not the best time to drive wow guys we are just flying through this list now my final piece of advice for you guys advice tip number five is guys play it smart play it smart play it smart if uber is in your area check and see if uber eats is in your area if uber eats is in your area sign up if if it's something you want to sign up for. The reason why I say sign up for Uber Eats, let's say you go out at six in the morning and you work until 10 a.m. Let's say you're able to make 100 bucks. But from 11 to two, maybe you can make another 75. Meaning that you could wake up at like 5 a.m., be out in the city driving at 6 a.m., work for four hours, take a break at 10 a.m., go back online at 10 a.m. or 11, work the lunch rush, make another, I don't know, 75 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you make during the dinner rush. And also, Uber always throws out bonuses and incentives during dinner time and lunch time and even in the morning times around 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. when people are ordering coffee and breakfast stuff for the office. Take advantage of the things that you can take advantage of. And also learn how to save mileage. Learn how to save mileage. How do you save mileage? For example, if I'm in San Francisco right now, if I pick up someone from the Sunset District and they want to come downtown, after I drop that person off downtown, if it's, you know, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, if it's during that time where I'm probably going to get a request from downtown, don't just drive around downtown. Just pull over somewhere, park your car, wait. Wait for a request. I mean, if you're in a hot area, now if you're way out in the middle of nowhere and you don't think you're gonna get a request, don't just pull over there and wait on a request. Like, try to go back in the middle of the action, that way you can get a request. But I've talked to a number of drivers in my market in San Francisco, and they say that whenever they drop someone off, they just, just drive around and continue to drive around. And you know, that can kinda be a bad idea because you're just burning gas, you're burning gas, and if you just pull over and wait, now you got a request you know exactly where to go and you're not driving around in circles and especially driving around in the financial district and traffic man like five o'clock six o'clock only thing you're doing is just burning gas around here i mean you might as well just take your gas tank and, and punch a hole in it like you're, you're basically just losing gas just driving around here and if you don't have a request why are you even just driving around in circles remember drivers you want to work smart not hard Right. Hope I was able to answer some questions and shine some light for some of you Uber drivers or some of you new Uber drivers that want to sign up and become Uber drivers. Uber is still profitable. A lot has changed with the platform over the course of, you know, three, four, five years. A whole lot has changed. That doesn't mean that you can't make money. You can still make money. But once again, it's best to work smarter, not harder. It's best to know a little bit about your city than to know absolutely nothing about your city. However, you can still go out and drive in a city that you've never even been to because we have this thing nowadays called Global Positioning Systems, better known as GPS, 
So you can just drive anywhere without knowing where you're going. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you wanna see more videos like this from me, hit that subscribe button right down below. If you got some comments or some questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I actually read those things and I respond to those things too. But yeah, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.